Hi, my name is Rena Sayers and I'm a vet working in Chagask in Moor Park. And today I'm just going to briefly go through some of the most important points when you are going vaccinating animals. So the first stage of vaccinating is to make sure that you're vaccinating at the correct time of year. Uh, and also if it is actually a booster shot that you're giving that you've used the correct interval. So if it's an annual shot that would be every 12 months and making sure that you're within that interval. So what I'm vaccinating for today is IBR. I'm doing young calves. So my instructions here is yes, I need to look at calves between two weeks and three months of age. And um, so I am doing the correct time of year. The second point in any vaccination protocol is to ensure that you're storing your vaccines correctly. In the vast majority of cases, if not all cases, you store your vaccines in the fridge between two and eight degrees. The other important thing to do is to check the expiry date. And what you never do is use uh, the remainder of any medicinal product that you have left over from previous months or previous years, which may be expired, or they may have now got bacterial contamination in them. What I use is a small domestic fridge um, I check the temperature on this regularly using a mercury thermometer just to make sure that it is staying at the correct temperature. And I just have the vaccine that I want to use today. I'm going to take that out of the fridge about 30 minutes prior to using it just so it'll reach room temperature before I use it. Point three of our vaccination protocol is to ensure that we have the correct dose volume. So if I go to my product characteristics sheet here, it's telling me that I need to administer two uh, mils of reconstituted vaccine per animal. So what's really important here is to use appropriately sized syringes. There's no point in using a 20 mil syringe to give a two um, milliliter uh, dose to an animal. So I've just a selection of syringes, needles and intranasal administrators here. So I am going to use a two and a half mil syringe to give my two mil dose. And because um, of the particular vaccine that I'm giving, I'm going to be using an intranasal administrator. So I have that. If you were giving an injection, what I tend to use for calves is I use smaller um, needles for calves. So a 21 gauge half inch needle. Um, and if I have larger animals, I can use 18 gauge inch or inch and a half needles, depending on whether it's a subcutaneous or an intramuscular injection. Point four of your vaccination protocol is to make sure that you're going for the correct site of administration. Different vaccines, even though they may be against the same disease, will have different sites of administration. The most common sites are SC, which is subcutaneous under the skin, IM is intramuscular, which is into the muscle, or intranasal IN. Point five in your vaccination protocol is to dispose uh, of all your leftover medicines and um, sharps, your needles and syringes correctly. So any sharps, uh, like your intranasal administrator, um, the needle that you were to use for vaccination, and your syringes go into the sharps bin. The final point in any vaccination protocol is to complete your records for future reference. This is really important so that you know when to give annual boosters, which animals were vaccinated and what dates they were vaccinated. So again, I just use my own Excel spreadsheet where I record the date, the number of the animal that was given, and I also record the batch number and the expiry date of the medicine that I used. So that's the end of our vaccination protocol. I've outlined six points to follow to complete a successful vaccination. And hopefully you'll end up with a lovely group of protected animals.